We're going to pick it back up with chapter 19. I'd like for you to do a new diary entry. Label it chapter 19, Dear Diary. Again, if you need to do a new piece of paper, you need to do it at the bottom of a piece of paper. Just make sure I can find it um, and label it. Uh, as you can see, I've chosen a new location. This is the laundry room in my house. Um, the previous one was in my garage and it was a little too cold. So I'm going to do chapter 19. Um, so just get ready for an intense, this is when the story just starts like picking up super fast. 19 is a little slower, um, but 20, 21, 22, I mean, it's just like boom, 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 boom. We're going to start cranking out these chapters. It's going to get super intense because Charlotte has been convicted. Chapter 19. Without another word, Captain Jaggery led me back to the hold and locked me in the brig. I turned from him, but I believe he stood there, considering me for a while by the gloomy light of his lamp. Then he left. I heard his retreating footfalls and the creak of the ladder, saw the light gradually fade away, until the hold grew completely dark again. At last, I slumped onto the stool, and though it was dark, I closed my eyes. Startled by a sound, I looked up. Zachariah, a candle in his hand, was standing before me. Silently, he circled the brig and pulled out the bars. I crept from my cage and we sat down close together, backs once more against a barrel, the little candle before us. I told him all that had happened. He remained silent, nodding now and again. By the time I was done, I was weeping copiously, which means a lot. Zachariah let me sob. He waited for my last sniffle, then asked, How much time does he give you? Twenty-four hours, I murmured. Charlotte, he said softly, he'll not see it through. He does what he says he'll do, I said bitterly. You said as much yourself, and he has the whole crew agreeing with his judgment. He was that careful, punctilious. I spat out, remembering the word the captain had used to describe himself. I don't, I don't know the word. Everything in order. Aye, that's him, Zachariah rubbed the stubble around his chin. And did no one stand up for you? He asked. No one. He shook his head. It's that I don't understand. I looked up. Don't you? For the first time, I felt my anger turn toward him. Why? Had they not become your friends? I have no friends. You must not say that, Charlotte. Didn't I tell you right from the beginning? You and me together. I shook my head at the memory. What's this? He said, trying to laugh my response away. Not friends? Zachariah, I burst out. I'm going to be hanged. He made a gesture of dismissal. You won't. How can you be so sure? I won't let him. You? You'd have to show yourself. What if you were planning to go to the authorities? I'll give it up. After all that's happened? Yes. I don't believe you. Charlotte, why should you say that? When I kept silent, he said, Come now, Charlotte. Something else is preying upon your thoughts. Something bitter. You must have it out. Don't tell me what I must and must not do, I cried. That's for jaggery. Forgive me. This old black man humbly requests you tell him what's beset your mind. Zachariah, I blurted out. You haven't told me the truth. He turned to look hard at me. You must explain yourself. I retreated to the brig. He pulled himself closer, pressing his face to the bars. Charlotte, he insisted. Now I am truly begging. Tell me what you mean. Zechariah, I said tearful again. I know who killed Mr. Hollybrass. Then why don't you speak it out so I can hear, he said sharply. I'm waiting for him to say it myself, or himself. I threw back. He sighed. There's an old seaman saying, Miss Doyle, the devil will tie any knot, save the hangman's noose. The jack does for himself. Your silence is foolish. I beg you, who do you think it is? I pressed my lips tight. Miss Doyle, he said, if you want to save your life, you will tell me. I am trying to help you, but I cannot manage it without your thoughts. You have some choices, Miss Doyle. Shall I make them clear? Do you prefer to dangle from a yard arm by your neck, or do you wish to walk free? What do you want, Miss Doyle? To live. He sighed. Then speak. Mr. Zachariah, I said with increasing weariness. 
I already told you. I want the man to come forward himself. Most unlikely. Apparently, I said with even greater bitterness. So they're on two different wavelengths. Charlotte's saying, hey, Zachariah, come on, admit it. You did it. And Zachariah's like, come on, Charlotte, tell me who did it. Who did it? So neither one really trusts or knows what the other one's talking about. Something in my voice must have alerted him. He scrutinized me shrewdly. Miss Doyle, why are you calling me Mr. Zachariah? For the same reason you're calling me Miss Doyle. He cocked his head to one side. I could feel his gaze upon me. For a moment I had the courage to return it, but quickly glanced away. He said, Charlotte, you have grown suspicious of me, am I correct? I nodded. Look at me. I did. He sighed again. Is it truly possible you think I murdered Mr. Hollybrass? After a moment, I admitted, Yes. And why? Zechariah, I cried out. You were there on deck. You had every reason to want him dead. And since I told you, you knew where I left the dirk. I suppose you would have preferred to kill the captain, but thought the first mate would do. And no one would know, would they? Least of all, Jaggery. I'm certain it's what the rest of the crew believes, I rushed on, and that's why they wouldn't speak for me. It's to protect you, Zachariah, just as they've done all along. I can hardly blame them. I sank onto the floor, sobbing. For quite a time, Zachariah didn't speak. And the longer he remained silent, the more certain I was that I'd uttered the truth. Charlotte, he said at last, if you believed all that, why did you not say so before? Because you're the only one. You told me so yourself, and I believe you. The only one who can get off the Seahawk when we reach Providence and go to the authorities about Captain Jaggery. And that's why you said nothing? Yes. It does you honor, he said very quietly. I don't care about honor, I declared. I'd much rather live, but the least you could do is be honest with me. He hesitated, then said, Charlotte, you do not have it correct. I don't suppose I know everything. Charlotte he said with the utmost solemnity. I did not kill Mr. Hollybrass. I eyed him suspiciously. Charlotte, he continued, we shall either live by believing one another or by not believing die. I want to believe you, I told him. I do. I sank back down on the stool. For a long while, neither of us spoke. There seemed nothing to say. Then in despair, I said, Zachariah, sometimes I think Jaggery has worked all this out so you and I should blame one another. But you said he doesn't know you are alive. He started. Repeat what you just said. What? The last thing. About his not knowing you're alive? Yes. He moved from the brig then and sat down. His mood completely changed. After a while, he murmured, Charlotte. What? When I was on the deck during the storm, Jaggery saw me. His words sank in slowly. Zachariah. Are you telling me that the captain knows you are alive and has done nothing? Yes. When did he see you? I demanded. As I say, during the storm, I was on deck, trying to reach the mainmast. Before or after you helped me? He thought a moment. Before. Yes. I was bent into the wind, doubled over, when I heard voices arguing. I couldn't make them out at first. Then I saw Captain Jaggery and Mr. Hollybrass. It was they who were arguing furiously. I heard Mr. Hollybrass accuse the captain of deliberately taking the Seahawk into the storm. Jaggery was enraged. I thought he was about to strike the man. Then the first mate took himself off while the captain turned toward me. At first he didn't recognize me, only swore as I did. But then... What did he do? Nothing, just stared in a wild sort of way. Mind, the storm was growing worse. But before he could do or say anything, I headed for the foremast where I chanced to be where you needed me. Didn't you wonder when, after the storm, he did nothing? Charlotte, you yourself told me that when I helped you, on the mast, you thought me a ghost. An angel, perhaps. Think of Jaggery. If ever man had guilty deeds locked in his thoughts, deeds enough to raise the dead from seven seas, he would be the one. When, after the storm, he did nothing, I decided that was exactly what he thought. That I was an apparition. His leaving me here was proof enough. How else to explain it? And therefore I was safe. I gazed at him through the bars, trying to grasp the full import of what he was saying. Zechariah, I said slowly, trying to sort out my tumbling thoughts. During the trial, he made a point of asking me what happened to you. 
and you answered, to make sure he didn't know. I said that you had died, but Zachariah, if he did know you to be alive, he might also have guessed that we all knew it, and might think, exactly as I did, that you killed Mr. Hollyrass, but he wouldn't say. So as to condemn you. Only with me gone could he turn on you. He could not do it the other way around, for fear of my going to the authorities. As I threatened to do, do you think he knows who really killed Mr. Hollybrass? He might. But who? Zachariah grew thoughtful. To kill a hand during a st such a storm, when everyone is desperately needed, takes a kind of madness, he said finally. Well then, I said, who does that leave? We looked at one another and knew. The captain, I said. It must have been he who had killed Mr. Hollybrass. What? Jaggery killed Hollybrass? Psh, that's just crazy. Uh, I also wanted to point out to you, um, so Jag Jaggery's plan is he can't kill Zachariah yet. He has to get rid of Charlotte first. Because if he kills Zachariah, then Charlotte can go to the authorities. What he wants to do is he wants the crew to condemn Charlotte, kill her first, then with her out of the way, he can do whatever he wants. Charlotte, Zachariah protested. Mr. Hollybrass was Jaggery's only friend. Yes, people would think them friends. No one would believe it would be Captain Jaggery. But you told me they have never sailed together before. And I never saw much friendship between them, did you? No. You said they argued, I continued. I saw some of that, too, in the storm. You even thought Captain Jaggery lifted a hand to strike him after Mr. Hollybrass made an accusation of deliberately sailing into the storm. Is that a serious charge? The owners would be greatly alarmed, but to kill him? Zechariah, he sees you. He knows you're alive. The crew realizes must know it, too. I'm a threat to him. So are you. And now here's Mr. Hollybrass, another threat. But let him murder Mr. Hollybrass, and everyone will think you did the crime. But then he accuses you, Zechariah said. And see how much he's managed, I cried. Zechariah stared into the dark. Then slowly he said, the crew keeps silent to protect me, even as he hangs you. To which I added, And once I'm gone, Zachariah, then he'll deal with you. Zachariah grew thoughtful. Finally, I heard him whisper, May the gods protect us. The excitement of our discovery ebbed. We sat in silence. In time, the candle went out. What, I asked ruefully, can we do about any of this? Charlotte, we must force him to confess. He's too powerful. True, he'll not get any man to confess when he holds a gun and you've got none. What do you mean? Charlotte, see what happened when we rose against him before? You've been in his quarters, haven't you? You must have seen that iron safe of his that's full of muskets. You're not likely to get into that. No one knows where he keeps the key. I reached over and plucked at his arm. Zachariah, I said. I know where he keeps it. Okay. So we learn a lot about the plot. We think we have a theory on who killed Holly Brass and why. So right now I want you to do a diary entry just talking about what has Charlotte figured out at this point? And what do you think Charlotte's planning to do next? What have they figured out and what is Charlotte going to do next?